now, NBC 26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. A much better looking picture across the Midwest today with highs in the mid and upper 30s, even some lower 40s in Des Moines. We had some lower 40s in Sioux Falls and 54 in North Platte, which made those temperatures running about 5 to 15 degrees above normal for much of the Midwest. And we even have some more above average temperatures on the way as we head into the middle of December. It always seems like we get a little cold snap somewhere in November. And then as we head into December, after some cold weather, we start to warm things up again. That seems to be the case over the last couple of years. But our time lapse today was a beautiful day. If you were out and about, Mother Nature did not stop any of your afternoon plans, or perhaps you're sitting at home watching Green Bay beat Chicago uh, this afternoon down at Soldiers Field in downtown Chicago. Now, what we are monitoring is an area of low pressure off towards the west. We've got a cold front boundary. The cold front will make its way and arrive probably late morning hours tomorrow. And along that frontal boundary, there will be probably some light snow showers. Now, there's really nothing going on right now at this minute, but that will change as we head into tomorrow and where it does snow, maybe a few areas could pick up a quick dusting of accumulation, but with temperatures warming above freezing, it's going to be hard to come by. Here's a wider scope picture as we head into tonight. The skies, while they're clear right now, will turn cloudy by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. And you see a little bit of some light snow showers, mainly across the southern half of the viewing area from Dubuque up towards, let's say, Manitowoc, Sheboygan. And that's really all she wrote pretty much for the system. So some areas could pick up a little bit of some light snow coming down from the skies, but otherwise just remaining mostly cloudy through the majority of the day. Here's a close look showing some of that light snowfall tomorrow morning, moving in here 730 in the morning hours. And then as you get to about lunchtime, noon or so, all that activity moves down to the south or to the other side of the lake. And if we do see any accumulation, under a half inch. Enough, maybe if barely, to see a little coating on the grass or elevated surfaces. On the roadways, probably not going to see anything at all. And the reason why also is these temperatures. By the time we get into the morning hours tomorrow, we'll be already in the mid 30s and remaining that way through most of the afternoon and evening. Now we have seen three inches of snowfall so far this winter season, but probably not going to be adding to that as we head into tomorrow. So for tonight, we'll cool off to 27 winds out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour, building clouds for tomorrow. We'll get up to the mid 30s with northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few snow showers possible. Here's your seven day forecast. Mid 30s on Tuesday and Wednesday, a slight chance of a wintry mix on Thursday, high of 37, and then some mid 30s Friday and Saturday with another chance of a wintry mix or snowfall on Sunday.